Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for September 17th, 2021. Well, yesterday was kind of an interesting day, wasn't it? We had a um, kind of a disappointing uh, jobless claims number, and then we produced a number that I think surprised, well, certainly surprised me. I think it surprised a lot of people with retail sales coming in much stronger than expected. Coming in, um, they were expecting a negative 0.8, coming in at a positive 0.7 yesterday. And that produced um, a pre-market rally that uh, once again opened our market with a gap up open and then a full-on reversal came into play yesterday, pushing us back down to recent lows in the market and leaving us with just a little bit of, hmm, wonder what happens next. So yesterday there was that big whipsaw that we saw in uh, the Dow. And um, now this morning we're looking for a little bit of a pullback um, at the open. Interesting interesting market indeed. So how about we grab ourselves something to drink? Let's settle into our office chairs. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, wow, what do we do now? Um, let's take a look at these technicals in the chart and see if we can get some information about what comes next here. Although I got to tell you, there's so much uncertainty in this market. It's really going to be very, very difficult to feel too confident about your trading. Um, let's take a look at, um, uh, our downtrend here. We do have this downtrend in play and certainly yesterday just added um, a bit more uncertainty to this price action move where we pushed down to the lows and then pushed up, had some high, um, actually turned green on the day and then ended up finished the, finished the, the day negative and this morning we have a potential gap down, pushing back down to the lows once again. So those folks who bought yesterday thinking that, hey, this was all over, you know, the buy the dip buyer rushing in they might get a little bit punished here at least the first part of the morning um, uh, pushing back down in that market so let's take a look at support in these charts we have some resistance in this area right here we have now some resistance in this area right here and you can see we're kind of hovering in a level of price support which is kind of all on its own notice that there really is no price support right through the chart right in here and we run that risk that we could push on down to a little bit lower low here in this market if those sellers really pick up so watch that closely our downtrend is still in play and let's also keep in mind that even with all of those gyrations yesterday we didn't improve any technicals here in the dow um, as a matter of fact um, still remaining below our 50-day moving average our short-term moving average is crossing down creating a zone of price resistance and technical resistance right here in that chart. However, if we take a look at the SPY, SPY, we do get a little bit better picture here, noticing that we kind of held on here again to that support level in the chart. And we um, held on to this price support, which I think is, uh, is pretty important that we kind of hang in there and hold on. We've created some resistance levels in the chart uh, if we start to rally back up. And this morning, as you can see, we're kind of reversing back down here again this morning. A um, little bit of uncertainty here as we approach the market for today. Now let's take a look at our moving averages. I gotta tell you guys, I think there is a high probability um, we, we're just hovering above this 50-day moving average, and I do think there is a high probability that we will test that 50-day moving average. It may be this morning. So watch closely for that. Now the question is going to be, will that 50-day hold us as support, or will we push on down and find some extra price support in the chart to actually hold us? Couldn't answer that one for you, but I do think 
um, the way the market is shaping up this morning that we will probably test that 50 day moving average at a minimum. So be prepared for a little bit more selling here this morning. It could become even a little bit more violent uh, if we fall through that 50 day moving average. Watch for uh, maybe some painful um, painful price action if that were to occur to occur now let's keep in mind the way the market has been acting we zoom in both directions so if we test that 50-day moving average there'd be nothing that says we couldn't test that 50-day moving average and then reverse and bounce right back up and even break this resistance level at the top so with the volatility of the market we're really going to have to stay on our toes as we slide into this weekend let's take a look at our qqq our QQQ also, whoops, QQQ, our QQQ also holding on to this trend support, looking pretty good, pushing back up, and we did have a close here in the NASDAQ that was just slightly green on the day, as you can see in here, just a little bit on that green side. So a lot better um, technicals here in this chart. Although we have given up that kind of steep upside trend, we are holding on to support. We are holding on to that trend in the chart. So QQQ continuing to do its job as a big techs. And I got to tell you guys, it's almost exclusively the big techs that are continuing to stubbornly hold this market up. So if they can continue to do that, we may just kind of have a mix of results here on um, this chart. Now keep in mind, looking out here and with that trend, we do have that possibility that we have that resistance right in here. Maybe we just dance around in this area, or perhaps we get that opportunity that those bulls stay inspired in those big techs and we push on through, we start testing some resistance highs in the chart and that could lift the other indexes. So watch that carefully. And then last but not least, we have IWM. Now IWM had some good news with the um, um, oil status um, number and that helped this index quite a bit the last couple of days um, but let's take a look here uh, technically um, in the price action if we take a look we're still underneath some price resistance we still have a downtrend in play and if we pull this back we have lots and lots of price resistance out here that we have to deal with in that chart so I'm not hugely confident that IWM is going to hold here, but we do have to give it to the bulls because we did push back above that 50 day moving average yesterday. However, I do think there is a high probability and I think a, a reasonably high probability that um, IWM will continue to see a little bit of bearishness. And I think there's a chance that we could drift down toward this 200 day. Maybe not today, uh, but that possibility does exist. So watch that closely. I'm not sure there's a whole lot of confidence that we're going to hold up here in this chart because we don't have those big techs helping to hold up um, the Russell. Um, so kind of keep that in mind. It's going to be an awful lot of work for energy sector stocks to hold this up if we continue to see that selling push here today. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now, interestingly enough, the VIX was headed up yesterday, headed up, headed up, headed up on that selling wave. But then um, as the buyers came in pushing back up, that fear dropped out a little bit in the chart. So the good news here is that we still haven't broken above this big downtrend. That would be, that's where we could run into a little bit of trouble. And we remain under that 20 handle. If you guys remember, it's that 20 handle in here that I think is going to be pretty telling where we have all kinds of price support and resistance right around that 20 handle area. So kind of keep an eye on that. But if we can stay underneath that area, we may be just fine. However, we do run that risk here that we could produce a higher low in here with that selling coming in maybe a little bit this morning 
watch that carefully if we do produce that higher low because that could certainly push us right up there toward that 20 handle and then we start worrying about this big old downtrend that could potentially be breached so watch that carefully in the chart a lot of uncertainty here today a lot of kind of anything is possible i don't know if anyone feels like except maybe really quick intraday traders that feel like they have much edge in trading this market because of the wild gyrations that we've seen here lately let's take a look at um, our t2122 now t2122 had a nice little bounce back yesterday pushing us back up and then we you know, whipsawed around all day long we ended up closing the day kind of right or here in the middle so kind of just uh well no direction here on t2122 it tells us if the bulls can find inspiration we certainly have plenty of upside room uh for that if they can find the inspiration and it gives us an equal weighting here that if the bears find some inspiration we certainly have plenty of room to move back to the downside so keep a close eye on that not giving us a directional idea here today um let's take a look at our t2107 however t2107 i get some questions on this because i've been showing this a lot here lately t2107 is just nothing more than the percentage of stocks that are above the 200 day moving average and as you can see here we've been in an ugly ugly decline for a long time in t2107 but what's most striking is this substantial decline that we've seen right here and we did have a a, a rally um, not that long ago that pushed us back up and we had that hope that we might hold a little bit of support in the chart but we ultimately rejected that pushing down to new lows and you can see we did have a bump up yesterday but or, i mean the day before yesterday on t2101 or 07 but um, doggone it by the end of the day we were pushing back down so right now only 44 percent of the stocks in the market are above their 200 day moving average and the problem with this guys is this is just a really really heavy um you know boat anchor ship anchor um dragging along on the bottom of the ocean and we're having about seven to eleven big tech companies trying to lift us up off of that um now this just keeps getting heavier and heavier and heavier and one has to wonder what could happen if those big techs really did start to sell so watch that closely perhaps they do have the energy to lift us back up on this perhaps these have the energy to weigh us down and pull us on down so watch that close then if we take a look at our t2101 we did have that rally back up yesterday but i gotta tell you the breadth of the market yesterday wasn't all that impressive um we didn't see a a big move in strength um in that market breadth to move us back in that buy wave or provide us with a lot of confidence so uh, watch that closely um, watch that closely and be um, just be on guard with the volatility that we've seen in this market let's take a look at our economic calendar for today now we do have one thing on that economic calendar to make note of and that's going to be this consumer sentiment number remember last time we got this consumer sentiment number it fell dramatically it fell to a 70 which um, we haven't seen a level like that since 2011 and um, certainly a little bit uncomfortable now the consensus is suggesting we're going to see a little bit of an increase in that sentiment number and i gotta say the retail sales would kind of support that that could be possible that we could see that sentiment increase a little bit if that does increase that could help the market maintain a little bit of levity um, here ha heading into the weekend and get us um, that opportunity to bounce so keep an eye on that at 10 a.m we'll want to watch that one pretty closely could move us around a little bit however if it happens to miss that could be um, uh, a reason for the bears to attack into this weekend so watch that close let's take a look at um our earnings calendar now our earnings calendar today i'm uh, 
not much going on here. We have uh, 13 companies listed on the calendar. Only two are verified reports and only one, um, one of those reports has any merit at all for being somewhat notable. Um, MANU is that ticker this morning. Um, we'll be reporting today. Keep an eye on that. But that's about all on the earnings calendar that we can point to that has any notability at all. So watch for that. How about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And I got to say thanks to everyone who does take the time to click those thumbs up buttons, leaving those comments. I apologize yesterday. I was so busy I didn't get to it and answer all of those, but I did read them all. Thank you so much. Whoever for everyone who takes that time. It means the world to me. I truly, truly appreciate it. And I will be back to answering those comments today. Thank you so much. Um, I truly, truly appreciate it. And also just a, a huge shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel with the Buy the Coffee uh, um, link just below the title of the video. Um, I truly, truly appreciate it. That guys, you humbled me every day. Um, thank you so much um, for your kind support and we will you will start seeing some changes here to the channel um, as a result of that support let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up but please keep in mind guys with the volatility of the market I think you're going to have to be really really careful with how you deal with some of this um, you're going to have to be willing to hold through some um, some whippy price action. So be very, very careful if you do decide to trade. And make sure, guys, that you understand. Anytime I uh, talk about one of these companies, um, it is not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. You have to do your own due diligence. And you should never, ever, ever follow someone else's trade idea without doing your own evaluation and knowing... Um, um, what the risk is in that trade. Let's take a look at, I placed an alert on a chart yesterday in Intel. Taking a look here at Intel, notice we have, this is one of these patterns. And by the way, there's going to be a video coming on how you can find this pattern very, very easily. Um, and hopefully that will be up later this afternoon or maybe by tomorrow morning um, on the YouTube channel. Um, take a look at this right in here. We have Intel. We have this downtrend that we have defeated and now we've held support levels. We've broken through some resistance levels in the chart. Notice we have an inverted head and shoulders pattern showing here in Intel and I think this is a constructive consolidation in here. So um, one of the things that I like to do is I don't like to chase the high flyers that are really stretched out to the upside. I want to wait for those patterns um, that set up or give me that gives me a higher probability of a win and more potential upside. Now I got to tell you that this isn't without its problems here in Intel because we do have a considerable level of price resistance in this chart that we still have to break through. But keep an eye on that. This is a nice little bullish trend that's coming here in this chart. You can see that nice little push up and that possibility that we could trigger in here relatively soon and start to show some upside in the chart. So keep a close eye on that. I've also been keeping an eye um, seeing um, seeing the bullishness that has been coming into the oil sector here. I've been watching a few of these charts and take a look at Valero. There is another one of those inverted head and shoulders patterns that's starting to form. And that line I've got up right here is the neckline. If we could pop through that, we might have some upside opportunity here in some of these uh, 
um, refining um, stocks and those um, exploration stocks that are starting to perk up as well. So watch that closely. However, I have to say it is kind of a maybe because we do have this little upside here, but notice our price action in here hasn't been really, really confident. So it is also possible instead of breaking through the upside, this fails and kind of disappoints. So watch that carefully and closely. This is kind of on that knife's edge. Let's take a look at um, Philip Morris. I've mentioned Philip Morris a few times here and Philip Morris has ranged around here quite a bit. We have this nice bullish candle that showed up the other day and I, I told, pointed that out to everyone here and I said be careful with this chart because there still is that opportunity that it could slide over here toward trend. And that seems to be the case where kind of drifting along here, um, resting right up here in this area. But notice that bullishness here. We have a nice dividend payer in this chart. When the market, when when a company, or, or when the market starts getting um, funky, uncertainty, that kind of thing, we see um, a rotation typically occur into these good dividend payers, folks looking for a little bit of safety. So watch this chart. I think there is that opportunity if the market does get a little bit spooked that we could see this pick up in here. Can't say that that's true, but we want to watch for charts like that if that comes around. Take a look at some of the um, uh, Sorry, I was trying to think of the ticker and talk at the same time, and I can only do one thing at once. Um, take a look at some of the semiconductor um, area um, in these charts. XLNX. XLNX looking pretty good here. This is a nice little bullish pattern. Holding up here after breaking through some resistance in the chart, holding in that nice trend. I'd keep a close eye on that. There is that possibility that could find some energy here, as you can see, and maybe start to stretch on out. And you can see some of that energy in some of those uh, stocks when you take a look at like on semiconductor. On semiconductor, very, very strong here moving up. So keep a close eye on some of these semi stocks. Um, they're looking pretty good overall. And then um, I did have a, a member of Rightway Options um, bring up a couple of charts. Um, one being NAT. Take a look at NAT here. Um, really nice. Whoops. My system chose to change on its own change the tool there we go um, as you can see a nice little upside trend happening here in this chart and um, breaking through this resistance this has that opportunity here in that 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 looks pretty darn bullish uh, possibility that it can move up and we saw a lot of good stocks um, in that software area yesterday showing um, lots of bullishness so keep an eye on charts like that so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great results in your trading i know this has been a very very challenging week for a lot of folks i've been getting a lot of emails folks suffering pretty heavily heavily in these nasty whipsaws and things like that and i gotta tell you guys when the market is showing you that you don't have much edge one of the better things to do is back off rather than lean into it and try to prove to the market that you're that you're better than the market itself. I personally have never found that to be a successful strategy. When the market is showing you this kind of wild volatility, sometimes it's better to just protect your capital and um, and then run away. I guess run away and live to fight another day um, would be. Um, kind of the mantra if you particularly if you have inexperience in the market if you're not very experienced this can be so frustrating and so challenging and I want you to know that you're not alone there are a lot of folks feeling that kind of stress and pressure in the market in that uncertainty so watch it closely be careful maybe just you know sit on your hands for a while let the market settle down until you see that you have a better edge in the market and then re-engage. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all the very, very best. Um, I wish you all great success in your trading. And we'll see you right back here, bright and early Monday morning. Take care, everyone. Have an awesome, awesome weekend.